and I think you're doing a little bit better on the slope. What is slope? Michael, do you know what slope is? Rise over run. Yeah. That's how you find it. It's rise over run. We're going to learn a slope formula today. I was thinking there was an easy way to do that. Um, and really, all slope is, is a measurement. It's a number that tells you how steep something is. So it's a number that measures steepness. Michael, are you looking for a pencil? morning. So it's like temperature. Today it's going to get up to 40 degrees, so all our snow is going to melt, okay? Yeah, it's going to get very warm, unfortunately. More snow may be coming in. Um, and it's just, and all temperature is, is a m number that measures how, um, what the temperature is outside. In fact, in Egypt, they do everything in Celsius. <laughs> So if it's 20 degrees Celsius, do you know how warm that is? Probably not. So I had my cell phone, and it would convert my Celsius to my uh, to Fahrenheit, so I knew how warm or cold it was. And then my friends, who only knew Celsius, I would convert Fahrenheit back to Celsius for them, so they could understand. So we could be talking in the same way. Well, slope is the same thing. It's just how steep something is. Okay, listen. Is this a positive slope or a negative slope? Josh, you know? That's positive. And this is a negative. negative. If you have a picture, you're, you're going to be fine with the signs. I'm afraid to sharpen the audio. <laughs> well, you have to sharpen it. <laughs> OK, let's do the first problem. I'm going to give you a chance to graph that and find the slope. I'm going to pause. Because the problem is, when you are dealing with real data, it's, they're not going to be nice numbers. So you should be plotting this. Did you graph it yet? Graph? You didn't have a pencil either? Oh, I have them in my... I have them in the shed, the closet there. Okay, if you graph it, draw the line. I want the line going through those two points. And then find the slope. Is it positive? Or is it negative? And maybe somebody wants to go on and plot the points up there for me. Good job, Josh. Do you want to do it? <laughs> Three, four, and negative two, one. Yes, and draw the line. He's going to go do it up there since he didn't have a pencil. Yeah, that's mine. I don't like giving it out because I won't get it back. Uh, somebody gave me their shoe last year, and they left the class without the shoe the whole day. <laughs> well, draw the line and find the slope. Do you remember how to find slope? Or we're just going to measure how steep that is. Michael, did you get it done? Yes. Do you have your line drawn? Mm -hmm. Okay, did you find the slope? And make sure you reduce it. Now, he's got three-fifths. So let's see, we're going to start here at 1 and go up 3, that would be correct. And you're going to start here at negative 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, remember you can use notes on your test paper to read it. So we can read it. Now you have my pencil. <laughs> yeah, you can use these notes on your tests and quizzes. So Michael didn't quite uh, count right. The question is, can we do this without graphing? Is it negative or positive? Positive. positive. Good. And there's a formula that we're going to use. Everybody get that? Did you get it? No, I got it. Negative 2, 1 is over there. Oh, Elias, you're way ahead of me. <laughs> Are we ever going to do x1 plus y1 plus x2 plus y2? No. Mm -hmm. So what's your slope here? Right there. You have to write the slope. Oh. What's the slope? There you go. 
Yeah, I know you have that. Okay, I think everybody's okay now. No, it's negative two, which is this way, and then one, so it's right there. Remember? It's right here. So you start at zero, and you count two to the left, and then you count one up. Don't get plotting points mixed up with slope. It's easy to do. Casey, did you get it? Okay. Well, the problem is, what if I have the points 0.23, negative 5.4 and uh, let's make it 1.8 and negative 2.9. How am I going to count on that, Michael? I could count here, but how am I going to count with that? Um, you can't. If you're talking about big, big numbers, if you're talking about uh, stars and distances to the planets, now you're talking about numbers. Again, I can't graph and count. Or if you're talking about work within an atom, do you guys know about atoms? And those little tiny numbers. Again, I can't count. So I have to find another way to do it. And the way to do it is just really just to subtract. I want to find this, how far I go from here to here. So I'm going to subtract them. So the formula, I think, is probably on my next slide. And have you ever seen that in science class, that delta? It means change. So the slope, which is m, is equal to the change in the y over the change in the x. And you are going to have four numbers together to work this out, and it gets confusing. So I'm going to give you some tri tricks to remember it. There's the formula. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It's at the bottom of your sheet. When you put numbers in for those letters, you must have parentheses. If you don't, you're going to mess up. So you got a problem with it. So in the numerator, we're going to subtract the y values. And in the denominator, we're going to subtract the x values. Because that's all I want to do is see how much did x change? How much did y change? Now what I do with this is I write my numbers this way. I write them vertically. Now, help me out. Which one's X and which one's Y? It's alphabetical. So it's X comma Y. I want to see how much this changes. Matter of fact, I, I can use the formula. I'm going to do the formula, but I'm also going to show you something else. So the slope is going to be the change in the Y, Y1 minus Y2 over x1 minus x2. And I'm going to put in parentheses there for my y's. Now you have to think of these as partners. That's why they're ordered pairs. OK, so you got your parentheses ready. Let me slide this board a little bit. So put your parentheses in. Some of you are working ahead, and I'm probably going to come back and say, no, you didn't put your parentheses in. OK, so I want, I want the y's here. And something else that helps is that maybe if you write the y there and the x there. Because you have four numbers, and it's easy to put them in the wrong place. And it has, there's only one way to do it. It's got to be in the right place. So I'm going to have a y1 here and a y2 there, x1 here, and x2 there. And order is going to matter. Because this is subtraction. Is 5 minus 2 the same as 2 minus 5? Guys, are these the same? No. This is a positive 3. This is a negative 3. So I have to worry about the order. OK, you ready with your parentheses? Yes. That's OK. Oh. It doesn't matter as long as I'm consistent. If I switch, that's a good question. If I switch y1 and y2, then I must switch x1 and x2. Order matters. So it doesn't matter to me what order you do this in, x2 minus x1. 
as long as you switch both the numerator and the denominator. So some will do it one way, others will do it another way. Okay, Michael, do you have your parentheses ready? Yeah. Close. Gabe, you got your parentheses ready? No? I want you to write parentheses minus parentheses over parentheses minus parentheses. Then we're going to put the numbers in. I'm going to cheat a little here, too. Something you can't do. <laughs> now I can do it. Okay, you got your parentheses ready? Get your parentheses ready? Good, good, good. Good, we're going to put the numbers in them. Good job. Are we all ready now, Elias, to use parentheses? Now, I want the Y's. I got to slide this a little bit, though. I want the Y's on the numerator. Once you pick the first value to put into this, this formula, everything's got to be in the right place now. But it doesn't matter. There's really two choices here. Gabe, which one do you want to put in here? Which Y value, the 4 or the 1, do you want to put right there? It's 4. Okay, so I'm going to slide that in there. I cheated a little. Okay, then what do you want? What Now everything's done. What's the other Y value that has to go here? Michael? This is 1. I got rid of this one. I did this one. Oh, y. The Y value is 1. Now, these are ordered pairs. These guys are partners. So underneath the 4, you've got to put the partner here. What's the partner with 4? 3. So the 3 has to go there. And then I only have one number left. Negative 2 goes here. Now, I want you to realize why we have to have those parentheses. Because I'm going to mess up with the signs if I don't. Okay. Everybody have them in the right place? Here's where you're going to have some problems. Use a calculator if you need to. What's 4 take away 1? That one's pretty easy. Three. Now, how do we subtract with negatives? Do you remember? What's three minus a minus two? Because this becomes adding the opposite. So that's using a formula. And there is another way which I actually like a little bit better. If I look from here to 4 to 1, if I, am I going down or am I going up? Michael? Just to show you, I can do the same thing. So if I wanted to look at the distance between these two, that would be a negative 3. So I'm going down, right? What about 3 to negative 2? But starting at 3, I'm also going down. How many am I going down? I start positive 3, I'm, gonna, I'm going down 5. And then I take this number divided by that number. So it's negative 3 over negative 5. Is that the same thing? What happens with two negatives? It is the same thing. So I don't really care if you use the formula or if you, you can count looking at the, the ordered pairs this way. You're still going to have to subtract these two. I think we'll practice with the formula, but I found in my other class when I reviewed this that that was a very good technique for those students for getting slope. Okay, so let's do some problems. This should be the next problem on your sheet. For the yes, to the page. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have numbers on here. Page two. So first thing you should do is, since using only the points, try to find the slope, and then we'll graph. Now, I don't like the way that's written. Because I get it all mixed up as to which is X and which is Y. Even I get it mixed up. So if I get it mixed up, I can figure out that you guys would get mixed up too. So let's rewrite it. 3, 2, and then 5, 6. Which maybe we'll just do it both ways. And then put what here? What's the first coordinate? It's X, and then that's Y. Because that's what you're going to make a mistake with. I've been doing this for a long time. I know what your mistake is. So how do you find your slope? I'm going to use this formula right here, and I'm going to use my parentheses. So put your parentheses in. And I'm going to cheat again. 
and maybe somebody wants to come up here and try now I am creating a video which will go up on the Schoology as a YouTube video so if you need to come back and look at it again you can you want to come out and do it Well, come on up, because all you have to do is touch the numbers and, and slide them. Yeah. And if you need this help, this is the Y and this is the X. Oh, wait, sorry. Okay. No, because I had the pen, pen picked up, that's why. Good. Now, two is partnered with whom? Three. No, no, who's two partnered with? Two is with three, so I got two here. I got to put three there. <laughs> there you go. It looks like it's that. Where did the three go? Oh, there you go. And then the five, which is the, the, the kind of incomplete for some reason. I just move that little. There. I don't know why that did that, but it did. Okay. Did you write that down? Raise your hand if you have questions. Did you get that? What's the answer? What's two take away six? Negative four. What's three take away five? Negative two. And then we simplify. On your final exam next week, scary thought, um, <laughs> on your final exam next week, you're going to have to simplify that. What's a negative four divided by a negative two? It's positive two. Because it's multiple choice. Okay, who wants to come up and plot the point? Somebody want to? Yeah, go ahead and graph the points and let's count. Three, two, and five, six. I want to check it. Did I do it right? If I got enough Inspire calculators, I've, I've got a nice little file that does some of this for us. Okay, let's see. Three, two. I can't see. Where's three, two? Make it a big dot for me so I can see it. Okay, and five, six. And then you can draw the little triangle like we always do and count, make sure, did I do it right? Is it easy to do it upside down? Yeah. Okay. Where? Yeah. That's negative four and that's negative two. You can go ahead and try the next one. No. Remember, you rise up and you run out the door. So the rising up is the top number. The going out the door is the bottom number. Okay, Michael, do you have that? And then go ahead and try the next one. I'm going to come around and help you. By the way, let's look at that quick little trick here. Because I, I really like this trick. If I go from 2 to 6, what am I doing? I'm adding how many? Two to six? Four. <laughs> and what am I doing here? I'm adding how many? Three to five is? Temperature's three, now it goes to five degrees. I'm adding two. And I take this number divided by that number. So four over two gives me two. No matter how I do it, I'm going to get the same thing. If you prefer to do it, your problems this way and you're getting them correct, I'm okay with that. Otherwise, you can use the formula because I think that's a very nice way to do it. After 30 years of teaching, I learned it this year. <laughs> okay, so try the next problem. Try that one and check with graphing. And we're going to walk around and help you. Oh, let me see if I know what it is. Even I do this. How about that? Okay, I have an answer. <laughs> Good job, you did that right. Perfect. 
Oh, you guys are doing really well with this. George, you getting it? No, let's see. Because you have to write them vertically like I just did. And then put the X, Y in. Because you subtracted you subtracted the two X's and then and then you subtract you subtract X and Y and X and Y. It's got to be subtracting these guys. This is the second ones. Okay, no, uh, yeah, because this is X and X. This is X, that's Y. This is X, that's Y. You do X first. No, I do the Y's on the, I do the top, but you could do the bottom first. Oh. But you subtracted this one minus that one. That's not what we're doing. It's how the Y's change. That's why I like to see it vertically. It really helps. I've been doing this a long time. And that's one thing that's really helped all my students. So these are the ones you're going to subtract, and these are the ones you're going to subtract. So if you want to do it this way, it's really slick, actually. But you still have to subtract them. So if they're ugly numbers, and you aren't going to get ugly numbers in this class, but in the real world they are. So it's 2 minus a minus 1 in the numerator okay. in the top. No, that's not right. It's 2 minus a minus 1. That's a minus 1. You just copied it wrong. Uh, you set it up right. You were doing it right. You just copied it wrong. This is a minus 1. Okay, so what's this going to give you? Not 1. 3. So it's positive 3 over negative 4. That's right. Does that match? No. Well, let's see. Because you copied it wrong. Oh, yeah. That's why. Oh. Match, it matches. Yeah, go ahead and keep working on problems. Oh, yeah, okay. And that's, um, I believe that's what we're going to stop today, and then we'll do a worksheet on this. When you get checked off on the notes. But this is a negative one. Oh. That's a negative oh, one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, now, this is, those, like, yeah, this no. is 2. That's a negative 2 here. Yeah, no, I was just like yeah you, you, subtract you subtracted these two together. Mm -hmm. Write them vertically. Right. Trust me, write them vertically. Oh, okay, I'm coming. That's correct. Go ahead and graph it. Double check it. You know by if it's right or wrong by graphing. Is it positive or negative? Uh, negative. Negative. Now, let's do my little trick. You have this upside down. You have the, these are the X's. The Y's go on the top. Oh. <laughs> or, how many spaces is this? You're going to start at 2, go to negative 1. Ruspin, you're going to start at 2, go to negative 1. So am I going down or up? Down, how many? No, 2 to negative 1. You're at 2, and you're going to go to negative 1. So you're going to start here, and you're going to go down how many spaces? 3. three. One, two, three. What about this one? Negative 2. It's 2 below, and now it goes up to 2 above. 4. Negative 3 over 4. Using the parentheses method... And some of you got these mixed up a little bit. That happens. <laughs> happens to me, too. By the way, it happens to the advanced placement kids on the exam. They did their slopes upside down. They've been doing this a long, long time. So it happens. So what do you want to put in here? you got four numbers here. Which is the Y value that you want to put in there? Husband, two. Now everything's set. You have no choice. What's going to go in here? Negative one. Okay. George, did you get that? Because you were subtracting these two rather than these two. It's easy to do. Now, two is partnered with negative two. And now there's only one number left. And that is a positive three and a negative four. Is that the same as that? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. If I have... These are all the same. So negative 3 fourths, like that. Negative 3 over positive 4. And 3 over so negative 4. Right now, these are equal. Those are all the same. 
So it doesn't matter. Okay. And I'll know. I'll know if you're right or wrong. Oh, I got to get you. Once you get that last one done, then we are going to stop. Oh, there's one more. Turn the page. One more. We're going to do that. Then we will review all this stuff about slope and graphing points, and we'll have a test on it before the end of the quarter, which is fast. Oh, wait. Is that the one? So try this one. Okay, but yeah, you have to use the slope formula. Oh, no, you're way ahead of us. <laughs> I, I want to stop here because this is all your test is going to be on. And I really would like some good scores. Is this the one notebook? Oh, good. And yes, I need your uh, days, uh, your worksheets from this when I was gone this week. And all I got are four problems for you to do, so it's not too bad. I had more. So yeah, if you oh. Anybody's missing the yellow sheet? I found them. <laughs> yellow and yellow. Mm -hmm. 